Aviva's Power Suit Maker. Who do you want to build a creature power suit? Aviva. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need basic, short, furry legs because it never has to run very fast. That's right, the skunk doesn't need to run fast because it has a great defense. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns predators to stay away. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns predators to stay away. That's right, the spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky spray defense. We need a head that has a good nose for sniffing out worms, insects, and berries. That's right, a skunk is an omnivore. That means she's sniffing out both plants and animals to eat. We need a tail with a gland underneath that can shoot a stinky defense. Nice work! The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Let's make some more creature power suits. This is fun! Do you remember what makes each body part special? Tap on them and you'll find out. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs that help steer in the water and dig nests in the sand. Nice work! The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. That's right! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a scaly head with a beak. Nice work! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button. Let's make some more creature power suits. This is fun. Great job. Let's make a new power suit. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. That's right, the dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. We need arms with super strong, sharp claws for digging. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need arms with super strong, sharp claws for digging. That's not the one I was looking for. Try again. We need arms with super strong, sharp claws for digging. That's right. The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just five to 20 minutes. We need a head with ears that can hear super high pitched sounds that bounce back. Nice work. Bats use echolocation to find their way around and locate prey in the dark. We need a tail full of sharp, spiny quills. That's right, the porcupine will swat its quilled tail at predators that come too close. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button. Imagine if everyone had creature powers like these. What a wild world. Great job. Let's make a new power suit. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. For. Try again. We need back legs that help move. Oops, sorry, that's five strikes. Try again. Aviva's power suit make. Who do you want to build a creep? Chris. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need long, light legs for running fast. 
That's right. The cheetah's legs power him across the savanna at 72 miles per hour. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing. That's right. The cheetah needs to take big breaths to get the oxygen it needs for sprinting. We need a head with special markings to cut down glare from the sun. That's right. The cheetah's black eye markings cut down the sun's glare so the cheetah can focus on its prey. We need a tail to help with balance during high-speed turns. Nice work! The cheetah uses its tail for balance during high-speed turns. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! Way to build a really awesome creature power suit. Thanks! Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs that help steer in the water and dig nests in the sand. Nice work! The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. That's right! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a scaly head with a beak. That's right! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak, but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. I can't wait to try out these creature powers. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need three-toed legs that can hold up a heavy body. Nice work! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. We need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. Nice work! With a seven-foot wingspan, bald eagles can reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour when diving for prey. We need a white, feathery head with a sharp beak and keen eyes. That's right! Bald eagles aren't really bald. They get their name from their short, white head feathers, which make them look bald. We need a feathery tail to help steer while flying. Nice work! The feathers in a bald eagle's tail are really strong and help to steer, brake, and fly higher. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! I can't wait to try out these creature powers. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. Oh, that's not the one I was looking for. Try again. We need back legs. Nice work! The aardvark uses his hind legs to push loose soil backwards while he digs. We are looking for long, lean front legs with padded paws that are good for prowling on all fours. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We are looking for long... Nice work! Their front legs are mostly part of the running machine. But gray wolves do sometimes scrape and dig earth to make dens where they have their pups. We need a head with ears that can hear super high-pitched sounds that bounce back. That's right! Bats use echolocation to find their way around and locate prey in the dark. We need a long, bushy tail to help us balance while jumping and running at top speeds. Not that one. Try again. We need a long, bushy tail to help us balance while jumping and running at top speeds. Oops. Try again. We need a long, bushy tail to help us balance. Nice work! Gray wolves are social animals that live in packs and communicate with each other in many ways. Even the way they hold their tail is a form of communication with other wolves. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! Oh, this may be the best creature power suit ever! Great job! Let's make a new power suit. 
We need strong, athletic legs to run long distances over rough terrain in pursuit of prey. That's right! The gray wolf's body is built for going long distances and can run for many miles before resting. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing. Nice work! The cheetah needs to take big breaths to get the oxygen it needs for sprinting. Find a head with great senses. A fantastic nose, superior eyes, and big triangular ears. Nice work! Gray wolves are also known for that incredible howl. It's a way to communicate with the pack. We need a long, bushy tail to help us balance while jumping and running at top speeds. Oops, sorry, that's five strikes. Try again. Aviva's Power Suit Maker. Click on the button. Who do you want to build a creature power? Koki. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need sharp, strong talons for grabbing slippery fish and other prey. That's right. Bald eagles use sharp talons to grab food like slippery fish, small rodents, and even other birds. All things you can find in Alaska. We need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. That's right! With a 7-foot wingspan, bald eagles can reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour when diving for prey. We need a white, feathery head with a sharp beak and keen eyes. Nice work! Bald eagles aren't really bald. They get their name from their short, white head feathers, which make them look bald. We need a feathery tail to help steer while flying. Nice work! The feathers in a bald eagle's tail are really strong and help to steer, brake, and fly higher. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. I could get used to having creature powers like these. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need long, light legs for running fast. Again, we need long, light legs for nice work. The cheetah's legs power him across the savanna at 72 miles per hour. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing. Nice work. The cheetah needs to take big breaths to get the oxygen it needs for sprinting. We need a head with special markings to cut down glare from the sun. Nice work! The cheetah's black eye markings cut down the sun's glare so the cheetah can focus on its prey. We need a tail to help with balance during high-speed turns. That's right! The cheetah uses its tail for balance during high-speed turns. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! You really know how to build a creature power suit! Great job! Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need long, light legs for running fast. That's right! The cheetah's legs power him across the savanna at 72 miles per hour. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. That's right! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a head with ears that can hear super high-pitched sounds that bounce back. That's right! Bats use echolocation to find their way around and locate prey in the dark. This tail we're looking for is sleek and powerful for swimming fast through the water. That's right! The gray-white shark's tail is important in helping them motor through the water to catch sea lions and other prey. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. You really know how to build a creature power suit! Great job! Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need three-toed legs that can hold up a heavy body. That's right! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. We need arms with super strong, sharp claws for digging. 
That's right. The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. We need big ears to hear small prey and a long tongue to slurp them up. That's right. The aardvark's 12-inch long tongue goes right into the termite tunnels. It's sticky, too. We need a tail to help with balance during high-speed turns. That's right. The cheetah uses its tail for balance during high-speed turns. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its... I could get used to having creature powers like these. Great job. Let's make a new power suit. We need strong, athletic legs to run long distances over rough terrain in pursuit of prey. That's right! The gray wolf's body is built for going long distances and can run for many miles before resting. We need arms with super strong, sharp claws for digging. Nice work! The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. We need a head with incredibly large eyes to see at a wide angle. That's right! The dragonfly has 30,000 lenses on its eyes, so it actually sees 300 images per second. This creature power suit doesn't need a big tail, just a short, furry one. Nice work! A grizzly bear's fur is super thick and helps keep it warm and dry even in the coldest of habitats, like Alaska. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its nap. I could get used to having creature powers like these. You did it! Great job! Aviva's power suit. Who do you want to be? Martin. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. That's right! The aardvark uses his hind legs to push loose soil backwards while he digs. We need arms with super strong, sharp claws for digging. Nice work! The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. We need big ears to hear small prey and a long tongue to... Nice work! The aardvark's 12-inch long tongue goes right into the termite tunnels. It's sticky, too. We need a good tail to lean on while digging. Nice work! The aardvark leans on its tail to get more leverage while he digs through the concrete-like termite mound. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. I am loving this creature power suit. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need short, thick legs with hairy feet and sharp toenails. That's right! The grizzly bears are big and heavy, but they can still run really fast. Their hind legs help them run almost as fast as a horse. This creature power suit needs super strong furry arms with huge paws and sharp claws. Nice work! Grizzly bears have a large hump of powerful shoulder muscles, which help them tear through logs for food, catch prey, and sometimes fight other bears. We need a disc-shaped head with great senses of smell and hearing. Nice work! Grizzly bears have a fantastic sense of smell and can sniff out dinner from miles away. This creature power suit doesn't need a big tail, just a short furry one. Nice work! A grizzly bear's fur is super thick and helps keep it warm and dry even in the coldest of habitats, like Alaska. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. You are a creature power suit making pro. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need long, light legs for running fast. Nice work! The cheetah's legs power him across the savanna at 72 miles per hour. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing. That's right! The cheetah needs to take big breaths to get the oxygen it needs for sprinting. We need a disc-shaped head with great senses of smell and hearing. Nice work! 
Grizzly bears have a fantastic sense of smell and can sniff out dinner from miles away. We need a thick tail that can store lots of energy. Nice work! The Gila monster's tail can store enough energy so it only has to eat three to four times a year. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. You are a creature power suit making pro. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need sharp, strong talons for grabbing slippery fish and other prey. That's right! Bald eagles use sharp talons to grab food like slippery fish, small rodents, and even other birds. All things you can find in Alaska. We are looking for long, lean front legs with padded paws that are good for prowling on all fours. That's right! Their front legs are mostly part of the running machine. But gray wolves do sometimes scrape and dig earth to make dens where they have their pups. We need a white, feathery head with a sharp beak and keen eyes. Nice work! Bald eagles aren't really bald. They get their name from their short, white head feathers, which make them look bald. This creature power suit doesn't need a big tail, just a short, furry one. That's right! A grizzly bear's fur is super thick and helps keep it warm and dry, even in the coldest of habitats, like Alaska. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! Activate creature power! Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. Nice work! The dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. We need short, stubby arms and a slimy body that stays wet. Nice work! The bullfrog is an amphibian that needs to stay wet all the time. Find a head with great senses. A fantastic nose, superior eyes, and big triangular... That's right! Gray wolves are also known for that incredible howl. It's a way to communicate with the pack. We need a thick tail that can store lots of energy. That's right! The Gila monster's tail can store enough energy so it only has to eat three to four times a year. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural... Blue is definitely the right color for this creature power suit. 